Another attack on the Capitol Friday and another loss of life in the police force that protects that building. It is with a very, very heavy heart that I announce one of our officers has succumbed to his injuries. The suspect, with still unknown motives, crashed a car into a barrier outside the U.S. Capitol and lunged at officers with a knife. U.S. Capitol Police officers fired upon the suspect. At this time, uh, the suspect has been pronounced uh, deceased. The U.S. Congress is currently in recess and U.S. lawmakers were never in danger during the attack. But security around the U.S. Capitol complex has remained tight since the January 6 riot by pro-Trump supporters attempting to overturn the Electoral College victory of President Joe Biden. The assault left one U.S. Capitol police officer dead. USA! Nearly 2,200 National Guard troops are still on site at the Capitol, but an outer perimeter of security fencing came down this week. Local Washington police, assisted by the FBI, will take over the investigation into the motive for Friday's attack. At this time, it does not appear to be an ongoing threat. Uh, obviously, we're in the very early stages of our investigation. Uh, we need to obviously understand the motivation uh, behind this uh, senseless act. Police identified the officer who died as William Billy Evans, an 18-year veteran. He is the second fatality for the Capitol Police Force this year. Katherine Gibson, VOA News, Washington.